are you waiting for the bus? Uh, yes. There was a guy at the diner that said I could catch a bus here to Sacramento. Yes, but I'm not sure how often it runs. You may have a long wait. I'm in no hurry. Oh, you're not excited about going to Sacramento? I'm just going to catch a plane there and uh, head on down to L.A. And become a movie star? Nah, <laughs> nothing like that. I was wondering when the bus is coming. Oh, don't do that! Don't be so excited about it! I'm just checking to see if the bus is coming! This is a very dangerous curve! A speeding car could come around that bin and, and run you down without you even seeing it coming! Well, I've been here over an hour and I haven't seen a car since then! That's exactly why people who drive this way think that they can drive like maniacs! That they think they can own the whole road! They don't look out for pedestrians or people waiting for buses! Wow, if I've been out there, I've been roadkill. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, oh, <laughs> um, so are you married? Um, not recently. Oh, well, you do know there's a limit to how much a man can improve with age. Don't you think it's about time? Well, if I met a beautiful, smart, heroic <sighs> woman like you, <laughs> I think otherwise. Well, too late. I'm already married. Yes, I know. I saw the ring. Otherwise, I wouldn't have dared ask. <laughs> um, well, I'm, I'm going to be meeting my uh, fiancé. Oh, that's nice. Aren't you excited? Not really. We're going to talk about our future. Well, that's good, isn't it? Not really. She's going to tell me she wants me to go into business with her father, and I'm going to tell her that I don't want to. Well, what do you want to do? Actually, I'd like to be a juggler and a magician. Oh. And amaze and delight children of all ages. <laughs> Was there much money in that? No, not unless you're one of the best. Oh, well, are you one of the best? No, that's why I have a backup career. Oh, well, what does your fiance's father do? <sighs> He's a plastic surgeon. Well, how can you go into business with a doctor if you're not a doctor, too? I am. <laughs> I am a plastic surgeon, too. Well, then there isn't any problem, is there? Only that they want me to go to L.A. and make scans of money making ridiculously beautiful women more beautiful. And I want to stay in Oregon and work in a pediatrics unit helping disadvantaged kids who've gotten off to a bad start. Don't you like beautiful women? Oh, I like beautiful women, and I just don't like skinny anorexic women who have nothing better to do than obsess about their looks. And you think working with children is more important. Yeah, <laughs> and they like my magic act. Yeah, my daughter would like you. Oh, she loves magic and juggling, and she, she even likes clowns. Oh, she just loves to beep their noses. <laughs> <laughs> ah, mm. the perfect volunteer from the audience. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I just wish she'd get serious and settle down, find a nice man to marry before it's too late. How old is she? Five. Five? Hmm. Oh, well, <laughs> I'm sure she has some time to play the field before she has to worry about settling down, don't you think? Oh, well, it goes by too fast, as you probably can imagine. <laughs> hmm. Well, I better be going. <laughs> it's nice talking to you. Where are you going? I thought you were waiting for a bus. Oh, no. No, I'm just out walking. I've got a home just around the bend. Hey, uh, thanks for saving my life. I wish there was something I could do to repay you. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure you'll think of something. Mister, need a lift? No thanks. Um, I'm just waiting for a bus. Oh, uh, well, there won't be another bus around here until 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. I can take you as far as Sacramento. Hey, it's you! Can't argue with that. Uh, come on, come on, get in. You're gonna die of heat stroke out here. No, how'd you get back here so fast? I didn't get here fast. I have just spent the last three quarters of eternity stuck in a traffic jam. Well, 
I swear I could have been, I was just talking with you a, a minute ago. Mm, not me. Well, if it wasn't you, it was someone looking exactly like you. I mean, do you have a twin sister or something? <laughs> no, no. No, the only person I've ever been told I look like is my mother. And folks who know her say that I am the spitting image of her. You know, this was not your mother. I mean, she was the same age as you are. Well, it could have been my mother anyway. My mother's dead. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, that's okay. Yeah, she died when I was five years old. In fact, she was exactly the same age that I am now. She was killed by a hit-and-run driver back at that bus stop that I picked you up at. Oh, wait a minute. I, I, I get it. This is like one of those urban legend things where I'm supposed to go to the cemetery and find my letter sweater draped over her tombstone. Is that right? Did you give her your letter sweater? I don't have a letter sweater. Well, then I really don't know what you're talking about. Well, it, this is some kind of prank, right? You want me to think that I was actually talking with your mom's ghost. <sighs> no, I don't want you to think that, but if you do, you won't be the first. I am always meeting men who think they've talked to my mother. It's usually doctors. She's trying to fix me up. She wants me to marry a doctor. You don't want to marry a doctor? Well, doctors take themselves far too seriously. Well, what type of man do you want to marry? Well, frankly, I always thought myself marrying a clown. <laughs> I love clowns. They're nice and they make people laugh. Hey, how about this? Hmm. How's this? Oh, <laughs> beep. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. But I prefer clowns who can juggle. Say, by the way, what were you doing way out here? Oh, well, I gave away my car. To a guy with a gun? Oh, no. It, it, was a, it was a nice man and his wife. I overheard them talking about their sick baby, and they didn't have a car. I was going to get a new one anyway, so I, I guess I'll just get one when I get to L.A. What's in L.A.? Uh, my, my fiance. Oh, you're engaged. Not for long. She's going to dump me as soon as I tell her that I don't, I don't want to go to L.A. I want to stay in Oregon. I don't, want, I don't want to move somewhere else and, and hate what I do. Mm. Uh, well, what do you do? Oh, I teach theater arts at Sac State. You like what you do? Oh, yes, yes. But I really enjoy what I do in my spare time. I volunteer over at the Shriners Hospital for Children. They have a Shriners Hospital in Sacramento? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, what do you do there? I teach the burn patients uh, some makeup tricks. They have a burn unit? Oh, yeah, yeah. Brand new, state-of-the-art facility. And you know, they don't charge those kids or their families one dime for the treatment they get there. I think it's so amazing. Oh, that's remarkable. Do you know any good places to eat in Sacramento? I know a lot of good places. Will you let me take you to dinner? Oh, you don't have to do that. <laughs> I want to. Why? Because when someone does me a big favor, I always try to find ways to pay them back.